Imagine you started a blog to talk about dog food and you've decided on the domain dogfoodcentral.com. Kind of awesome, right? But what if in the next couple of years you decided to expand your blog categories to talk about other pet food and toys? For example, cat toys, hamster wheel, etc. In that case, would the domain name Dog Food Central still make sense? It's kind of restrictive, right? So in this video, we're going to share with you what to look out for when choosing a domain name for your blog. And I'm also going to share with you a couple of tools to help you get started with it. Let's go. Hey, it's Jack from RankMath, the one WordPress SEO plugin that constantly strives to provide you with the most cutting edge SEO tools. We also share the most updated and accurate SEO knowledge on this channel. So if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, consider doing so. Anyway, before we get started, I'm assuming you've already decided on your blog niche. And if you haven't done so, we highly recommend that you check out this video right here as I've shared a clear method to find a profitable blog niche. So check that out. Link in the description. Now, choosing a domain name for your blog shouldn't be hard, yet it should be memorable. But I truly understand the concern that most .com domain names have already been snatched up. And even if they are available, you might probably need to spend a couple of thousands to buy them and we want to avoid that. So let me quickly run through the elements of a memorable domain name and then I will share with you the tools to find some cool domain names that are still available. Now, there are nine elements of a memorable domain name I will share with you, but keep in mind that they are just guidelines and not rules. Even if you don't follow a couple of them, that's totally fine. What's important is that the domain name resonates with you. I don't know about you, but personally, when I really like the domain name I'm working on, I'm more inclined to make it a success. So let's get right into it. Now, a descriptive domain name gives your site visitors an idea of what your blog is about before they even click on it, but you don't want to go overboard with stuffing keywords in it. For example, if your blog is about healthy smoothie recipes, it is fine to have a domain name with exact keywords like healthysmoothierecipes.com, though it doesn't give you much benefit in terms of SEO, but don't go overboard like healthy smoothie, best smoothie, delicious smoothie recipes.com. That's a mouthful, right? But personally, I would just name it something like bettersmoothies.com as it describes what the blog is about. But you might say, what about brandable domains like Nike, Adidas, Apple, or whatever? Should you use them? That's what I want to talk about next. Having a brandable domain name is great, but it still needs to be a little descriptive unless you want to spend millions of dollars on advertising to make your brand known for what it is doing. For example, if Nike didn't spend millions of dollars on advertising every year and it is just a blog, would you know what Nike is about? Absolutely not. So you can have a brandable domain name, but it still needs to have something descriptive. For example, if your blog is an eco-friendly blog, it can have a name like ecobloom.com, naturey.com, or sustainify.com. Or if your blog is about keeping pets, you can have brandable domain names like petpals.com, bugsy.com if your blog is about dogs, or whiskers.com if your blog is about cats. I hope you understand what I mean. You don't want to have a brandable domain name that doesn't describe what your blog is about. Personally, I really love descriptive brandable domain names that are short. I know it is easier said than done. Most short domain names are probably taken up, but honestly, you don't have to worry about that. There are tons of short domain names out there. You just have to know how to look for it. By short, I mean under 15 characters, excluding the .coms or whatever extensions. Shorter domain names are not only easier to remember, but also easier to type and share with others. Again, this is subjective. There are successful blogs with long domain names, but personally, I would try to keep my domain name short. If I were to buy a domain name, I would keep it under nine characters. It's totally possible. I'll show you how in a while. The more syllables a domain name has, the harder it is to remember. This is something that I've discovered, but I'm pretty sure some brand experts will say the same thing. For example, RankMath has two syllables, Rank math, and because it only has two syllables, it is easier to pronounce, hence easier to remember. But if you have a domain name with more than five syllables, like wholesome baby food, it's getting harder to remember. And as the number of syllables grows, the harder it is to remember. Try remembering animalhumanesociety.com, which has nine syllables, and tell me if you remember that domain name at the end of this video. I'm pretty sure you have already forgotten. So try to keep the number of syllables below four if possible. Now, you may have not noticed, but some domain names have multiple meanings or unintended connotations. For example, if you are starting an IT blog to talk about all the new technologies and you have found a domain name called 
itscrap.com. It has only seven characters. It's short, it's brandable. It has only IT scrap, three syllables fits all the criteria, right? But there are multiple ways to split these words. It can be IT scrap or it can be it's crap. And if you pronounce it that way, it reduces the legitimacy of your business. Sorry to whoever owns itscrap.com. Or another example, this domain name is for a tech support forum. But if I don't tell you that this is a tech expert forum, what would you make of this domain? Huh? What do you think? Don't wander off, okay? Hence, it is best to choose a domain name that is clear, concise, and does not have any negative or misleading connotations. While using hyphens or numbers may seem like an easy way to create a unique domain name, they can actually make it more difficult to remember, harder to type in the browser, and may also make it seem less professional and less credible because spammers and scammers usually use this type of domain, so try to avoid them. Honestly, it is tempting to choose a domain name that is specific to your current niche. For example, if your blog niche is student loans and you have a domain name called studentloans.com, it sounds nice, right? But what if you want to expand your blog to other financial sectors such as home loans, insurance, investments, or whatever? Studentloans.com doesn't seem to make sense at a point in time, right? So always keep scalability in mind when picking a domain name. Needless to say, .com is always the preferred choice as it is the most recognizable domain extension on the internet. When people think of a website, the first thing that comes to mind is usually a .com. For example, people in the WordPress community have probably heard of WP Rocket, right? Well, for me, when I first came across WP Rocket as I was starting my first blog, I typed in wprocket.com and guess what? It didn't lead me to the site. I had to do a Google search to find what I was looking for. I'm pretty sure many people would have gone through the same process. Let me share another example. You might have come across phishing campaigns where scammers buy exact domain names of banks and governments, but with a different extension, right? People who are tech savvy like you and I, we know banks and governments don't use extensions other than .gov, or .com. It is instilled in us since the beginning of the internet that .com holds a certain level of legitimacy in terms of perception. But again, this is subjective. There are successful businesses and blogs that use extensions other than a .com. And in the case of WP Rockets, they are smart enough to put a trademark to the name so that even when somebody buys WPRockets.com, they can't build a brand around it, which leads me to the final element, which is to avoid legal conflicts. As I shared with you earlier, the last step before you buy any domain name is to always check if the domain name has any conflict with other brands. For example, you can't have another domain called google.net, otherwise Google may sue you and you will get into a lot of legal troubles. So use the tool provided by the US government called Trademark Electronic Search System. We have left the link in the description. If your selected domain conflicts with other brands, you may want to consider finding another unless you have good grounds to fight for the name. So these are the nine elements of a good domain name for your blog. Now let me walk you through the process of finding a good domain name that matches all the elements I've talked about. Now before we start, I always like to open up a couple of tools on the browser so they are easily accessible. We have the name leaks name generator, Luca name generator. These two tools are great AI tools that will give you awesome domain ideas and suggestions. Then we have Namecheap to check if a domain name is available. And finally, the trademark search system to know if the available domain name conflicts with other brands. Don't worry, we have left links to all these tools in the description below. And for more essential blogging tools, you can check out the video that is popping up at the top right corner. Anyway, let's say that I'm starting a blog in a yacht niche. I will go to name links and type in a couple of niche related keywords like yacht, blog, sailing, yachting, etc. I'll click on generate. Personally, I would select the auto name style, but you can explore other styles on your own. Click next. I'll select medium to keep a balance between the related niche and brandable elements. Click next. And then I will write a couple of words to describe what I'm trying to achieve and hit generate. As you can see, blue sales kind of sound nice. So I will search for it on Namecheap but it is too expensive. Let's continue with the search. Sky sales sounds nice as well, so let's search for it. Again, this will cost a lot as it is a premium domain. We definitely do not want Storm in our domain as no sailors would like Storm. Let's scroll down. 
SEO Finder sounds nice, so let's search for it. Nope, it's a premium domain. So as you can see, finding the right domain usually takes some time. But don't worry, I will share with you a couple of methods in a while. But for now, let's change things up a little. We have doc site here. Site could be a good word to mash up with sale. So let's try site sale. Well, it's too expensive. Or maybe captain sale. Let's check it out. So what do we have here? Captain Sale is available. Quite a cool name, right? It has 11 characters, 3 syllables, it's descriptive, brandable, and meets all the criteria. Let's check it on a trademark search. Nope, nothing found. This is a potential domain. If you're happy with it, you can go ahead and purchase the domain through Namecheap. Or else, you can continue with your search. Now, through this method of mashing up words from name nicks, there were some domains that are available but are expensive, like Yacht Anchor, Yachtology. Feel free to use these highlighted words in combination with your niche words. You may find some unique domain names. But we have managed to find available domains like Boti Yachty and Captain Sale. Another trick I want to share with you is to use thesaurus and search for some words that may be a good combination with niche words. For example, Hub community, etc. And use a couple of the synonyms to match it with your niche words. So we have matched these words with yacht because I really want yacht in the domain, but these domains are taken. But that doesn't mean that these words can't be used with the combination of your niche words. So go match them up for your domain. And through the same method, we have also tried matching these words. These domains are available, but they are expensive. However, we have managed to find available domains like Yacht Cartel, Band of Yacht, Yacht Tero. See, these are all domains that fit our criteria. Maybe Yacht Cartel is a little off. So you just need to be patient and be a little creative. I'm not a very creative person anyway. Now, another method we have not explored is the use of Lucas Name Generator. All you need to do is to add a couple of keywords, just like in Name Leaks, if you want more brandable domains, you want to limit the character range from 6 to 10 characters and search for it. It will show you quite a number of unique names. Through this method, we have tested these words, but they are unavailable. Feel free to mash these highlighted words with your niche words. Pretty sure you'll get some cool names out of it. We have also tested these words. These domains are available, but they are expensive. Maybe it works for your niche. And we found success with Think Yacht, Yacht Teller, and Yacht Voy. So to speed things up for you, these are the highlighted words we have mashed. I've sorted them out by the number of characters and in the alphabetical order, so feel free to mash them up with your niche words, and hopefully you will find an awesome domain name for your blog. To summarize, you want to have a descriptive domain name that is rendable and short. Keep it below four slippers. Beware of domains with multiple meanings or unintended connotations. Avoid hyphens and numbers so to look more professional. Do not restrict your domain name to only one narrow niche. Go for a .com and make sure to check if the domain is in conflict with other brands. I truly hope that with this video, you will be able to find a unique, relatable, and memorable domain name that you love. If you find this video helpful, can you do us a favor and smash that thumbs up button? And if you want more tips like this, do subscribe to our channel as well. We are all about helping you out with everything related to SEO. This is Jack from Rank Math. Stay awesome, and I'll see you in the next video.